Welcome back, everyone. Glad to have you all here, and big thanks to all my Patreon and Subscribe Star subscribers. As you've probably all heard by now, General Flynn has been exonerated, and the charges against him have been dropped. According to the DOJ 20-page dismissal letter, quote, continued prosecution of the case would not serve justice. Reading into the document further, we find that the fateful interview with Flynn was, quote, untethered to and unjustified by the FBI's counterintelligence investigation into Flynn, a no longer justifiably predicated investigation has yielded a quote absence of any derogatory information the government is not persuaded that the january 24th interview was conducted with a legitimate investigative bias and thus flynn's statements were not material to the investigation basically they had no reason to be investigating flynn in the first place there's even more bombshells in the document showing our two favorite crooked cops strock and page celebrating that flynn's investigation that was supposed to have been closed was still open and that they should quote leave it open for now this all really stinks of a political hit job from the obama administration and his fbi which really wouldn't be surprising coming from an administration that was very fond of spying as a tool against their critics and foreign allies the media is predictably melting down because they play a part in this entire farce they have to keep pretending like we all don't see right through their act it's a pretty dark place on social media the very first comment after the story broke that i saw on twitter was putin if you're listening high five your asset and there are russian flags and russian memes popping up and now we see bill barr really just doing donald trump's dirty work now he has in his back pocket a little ag who saw to it to let fling go it is uh, i think breathtaking dishonesty from the justice department this is the collapse of the justice department now katiel you caught my breath with the collapse of the justice department this is a case where the fix was in the fix is in not good for the rule of law it's not good for morale and it's not a fair outcome. This is an absolute injustice. I don't worry anyone who, who cares about the rule of law. Mike Flynn's lawyers have been engaged in a smear campaign. This is a political and incredibly destructive thing to the rule of law. It's all heading towards the president wiping the Mueller investigation uh, out of the history books, at least as far as criminal conviction. One of the talking points you're going to hear from Democrats and the media a lot is that Flynn pled guilty and thus he must be guilty. Based on personal experience, I don't buy that as a legitimate argument. For one, just think of all the people who pled guilty, but then were later exonerated of the crimes they were accused of. Just because somebody pleads guilty doesn't mean they actually are guilty. And I have a little story to tell in that regard, but first, a quick message from this episode's sponsor, Virtual Shield VPN. With the majority of the world's workforce now working from home, VPN security is now preferred. Cyber spying is at an all-time high, and a useful tool that you can use to protect yourself is a VPN, or virtual virtual private network to scramble your computer's identity from nosy cyber criminals. Here, let me show you how easy this is to protect yourself. I'm going to go to www.virtualshield.com or you can also use the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download the Virtual Shield free 30-day trial. Once you've signed up, simply log in download the free trial and install it. Once I'm connected, my IP address is now different than before. See? Virtual Shield is the easiest to use, has the fastest server connections, and offers a money back guarantee. Due to the recent pandemic of COVID-19, Virtual Shield wants to offer a 50% off all VPN plans and all premium add-ons, including Protection Plus, residential access, and VIP performance plans for as low as a cup of coffee. Sign up now for a free 30-day trial of Virtual Shield VPN and see what all the hype's about. You have nothing to lose. So back to the incoming Democrat Party and media talking point that Flynn is guilty because he pled guilty. When I was 18, just out of high school, and hanging out with friends during the summer, we got into shooting targets with my BB gun. It wasn't something we did a lot, but that week we happened to be doing that. And one night I was heading over there to do just that and had put my BB gun in my back seat uh, and had gone to pick up a friend. Um, <clears throat> after picking up that friend, we stopped by Arby's to get some food. It was a local Arby's and his girlfriend was actually working there. So we ordered our food, we pulled up and as I'm paying for my food, he actually, the, the passenger that I had picked up actually picks up my BB gun and points it at the drive through and says, give me all your money. Ha ha ha. You know, like it was a funny joke. I uh, was completely taken back by it, slapped it, you know, away, put it back and was like, you know, what are you doing? You idiot. Like, why would you do that? 
It's not something I would ever do in a million years. And uh, so I, I apologized. You know, we got our food and we left. Um, <clears throat> later that night, I was driving home and I got pulled over by the local police. And in fact, it must have been the, you know, the whole city's police. It was a lot of police. I'd never seen that many. And I had never been really pulled over. I might have been pulled over for speeding once. So they pulled me over. They threw me in the back seat of the car. The whole time I'm sitting here thinking this is some sort of huge mistake because I had I was not even thinking about earlier that night. And as I'm sitting there, it hit me suddenly. I'm like, ah, oh, earlier that idiot did that at the drive-thru. But I didn't think anything of it because his girlfriend was working there. You know, I, I had apologized. We, we paid for our food, obviously. It was not a robbery, right? It was obviously not that. Uh, but so I immediately told the police, oh, you know, I, I realize what this is all about now. Let me explain it. Explain it to the police. Don't think they ever believe me. Uh, they never even picked up the other guy who was 17. Uh, I remind you, I was 18 at the time. So in any case, I had to spend the entire weekend in jail. And let me tell you, this was a scary experience for a kid who was totally clean cut, never been in trouble. I spent most of my weekends playing D&D with my friends. So needless to say, this entire situation was very scary. My parents, who didn't have a lot of money, had to pull their money and to pay for a lawyer to fight these charges, which were three very serious charges of robbery. I mean, they wanted to put me away. And it was confounding to me because it was very clear that. That I wasn't guilty of anything and uh, it was actually if anybody's guilty of anything it was this idiot in my car and so for years we fought these charges my parents were running out of money and eventually they actually dropped all the original charges down to a misdemeanor disturbing the peace now obviously <laughs> if you know if I had actually robbed a, a place they would never do that they were just trying to save face or something but being 18 and being uh, faced with this very scary moment that was my out and my parents had no more money to fight this anyway so you know what I did I pled guilty to misdemeanor disturbing the peace but I was not guilty of anything I mean if anything I was a victim in all this because I had done nothing the point is I did plead guilty and this is something that's followed me in my entire life by the way I, I had to get a, a deferment uh, to get into the Air Force so I, you know, it's always followed me. I've always had to talk about it at job interviews and, and things like that. Back on topic, it wouldn't surprise me at all if this was the case with Flynn. If they were seriously pressuring him, and I've read reports that they were pressuring his son as well, it's not a surprise to me that he would have pled guilty out of fear of something worse coming. In my case, the prosecutors probably just wanted to save face. What I know is that they weren't at all interested in justice or the truth. So when the media dismisses Flynn and damns him for pleading guilty, just remember that just because somebody pleads guilty doesn't actually mean that they are. Consider that he might have felt like he had no other choice. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this mission, please consider supporting me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back. Like a rock.